Well, can the Senators drop a 3-2 double overtime decision here at the PPG Paints Arena to the defending Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins? I cannot say that was a straight face. Tough loss for the Senators, but a great season. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to really believe it's come to an end. There was so much team. There did seem to be so much fate or destiny tied to this team. They always thought they were going to find a way. And again, another overtime situation. You thought they might just find a way to get through this. You know, could you have asked for a better Game 7, though, Ken? People accuse the Senators of being boring. That was not boring hockey in this arena Thursday night. You know, and, and they didn't go away. You know, they were behind one nothing. They replied right away. They're behind 2-1 late. They got a Ryan Dezingle goal, of all people, yeah. to tie it 2-2. Uh, I mean, they didn't go away. They gave it everything they had. What can you say about Craig Anderson? What Everything he went through this season, his wife Nicole's illness, leaving the team for two months, and coming back and having the playoff run that he had, especially in this round. Well, yeah, game six and seven. I mean, yep. he, he gave them a chance to win this series. There's no question about that. He was outstanding, made huge saves both in game six and game seven. Uh, really, a lot of doubters at some point during the year, or during the playoffs, he really rebounded well. You know, you, you have to think that the Senators will, well, they'll be proud of this run. They'll look back with a little bit of regret because I think the Stanley Cup is wide open. Well, and there's a lot of veteran guys here in their into their 30s. Are they going to get another shot? to go this deep into the playoffs again? I, I don't think so. So we're headed back to Ottawa on Friday, and we expect that locker cleanup will be on the weekend. We'll update you from the Canadian Tire Centre on the weekend. For Post Media in Pittsburgh, I'm Bruce Garriock with Ken Ward.